Thomas the tank engine was feeling very happy. His blue coat shone in the sun, he was right on time, and all around his branch line the countryside seemed prettier than ever before. Good morning, Percy, he whistled. My branch is the pride of the line, wouldn't you agree? Uh, yes, uh, Thomas, of course, but... Uh... But what, Percy? Out with it. Well, there is another engine with a famous branch line, too. Who? Where? His name's Stepney. He's far away. But Sir Topham Hatt says he may visit us. When? Oh, someday. And Percy hurried away. Meanwhile, Stepney was puffing steadily along his line. It isn't very long, and that made him feel a little sad. Later, he saw Rusty. The little diesel had helped save Stepney from scrap. Everyone's been so kind. But my railway is so short, and I do miss a good long run. I think you should tell Driver, too, replied Rusty. I'm sure he'll understand. Stepney soon discovered that indeed he did. Do you know, Stepney, I feel just the same way. That evening he had exciting news. Guess what, Stepney? Sir Topham Hatt has invited us to visit the other engines on his railway. Manager agreed. It'll be a really long run to get there. Oh, thank you, sighed Stepney. They set off next morning. By now, all the other engines were talking about Stepney. He runs a famous branch line. Did you know that? said Percy. Thomas was feeling a little jealous. Huh. It may be famous, but my branch is the first on the line. Everyone knows that, too. And he huffed away to fetch his coaches. Look! squeaked Percy. Why have they all come? There's no train yet. But Percy was wrong. The signal dropped, and from far away, an engine whistled. Here he comes, yelled Douglas. Stepney puffed proudly through the junction. I hope you'll meet Thomas, too, said Edward. You both have branch lines to be proud of. Then Stepney set off to help Duck shunt coaches in the yards and they worked happily together all afternoon. At last, Thomas arrived. Sorry, can't talk. It's time for my last branch line train. Mustn't be late. He was hardly out of sight when the engines heard shouting at the station. Moments later came the alarm. Stop all trains! The signal man answered the telephone. A special, is it? I see. Thomas was impatient. Why are we waiting? My passengers are being delayed. Sorry, Thomas, said his driver. We're being shunted to allow another train to pass. Soon they heard an unfamiliar puffing sound. There was Stepney with his headlamp swaying and whistle blowing. He gathered speed and disappeared. Well, bust my boiler, said Thomas the tank engine. Next morning, he was still fuming. Shunted, and on my own branch, too. It's a disgrace. I'm sorry, said Stepney. I was a special. Why? An important passenger arrived just as you left. He ordered a special train, and Duck let me take it. We had a splendid run, but... Uh, but, finished Thomas, it can make an engine nervous not to know the line. Exactly, said Stepney. You're such an expert. Thomas felt much better. He couldn't be cross anymore and began telling Stepney all about his branch line. 